of series and child and some HTML5 tag techniques. Now, uh, and child is totally cool because we do a lot of things and child. So as an example, say that I wanted to talk to every other paragraph starting from two, okay? Or every third paragraph starting from two. How can I do this? Well, I'm gonna select the tag, select the tag. Doesn't matter which P tag I select. Doesn't matter if I select this paragraph or this paragraph, they're all P's. They're all P for paragraph. So I'm gonna select the tag and make rule. So again, go to compound, compound, less specific, P colon N child. Now we're gonna do something different here. We're gonna say, go every third paragraph. So we're gonna say three N plus two. What that's going to do is that's gonna basically format every third paragraph starting with the second paragraph. So I'm simply going to make this red. Okay, make a change, save a change. So again, I have to go to live view. I can see that every third, one, two, three, one, two, three paragraph, because over here, that's what I told it to do. I said three N. Basically, 3n is every third. 4n would be every fourth. 1n would be every, basically every one. Okay, so plus two says start at the second line. So as an example, very simple to change this. I can say start with the third line. It's, I'm gonna change the two to a three. Save that file, make a change, save a change lot view. So now it's starting with the third paragraph and doing every third paragraph. Let's start with the third paragraph and do every other paragraph. So I could say 2n. 2n plus 3. It's n is the nth child. n2. It's going to go every other paragraph starting with 3. So here's one, two, three, every other paragraph, every other paragraph, every other paragraph. It's really cool. So a very important step here, guys, you can assign this nth to anything. In this particular case, we're doing it to P for paragraphs. We can do this to hyperlinks, A tag. We can do this to the list item, LI tag. We can do this to div tags. It's endless what you can do with nth child. You can basically go four from the bottom, four from the top, three from the top, every third one, every fifth one, every fifth one, starting with the sixth. So I can say, okay, starting with the sixth list item LI, make every third one bold, or put it in image or background. And child is a master technique that will make you a total rock star when it comes to designing websites for your clients. So explore and child. Have fun with it. It's it's totally cool what you can do with it. So let's explore just a couple more things here. So in this particular case, let's just say I want to make every other, let's take this content and put this content inside of a wrapper. I'm going to select the body tag. Come up here to, <clears throat> come up here to layout. And I'm going to say insert the ID tag. I'm going to call this wrapper. So similar to previous videos, select the tag, select the wrapper div tag, and create an ID, which we just did. We're going to create a rule for wrapper. Wrapper is going to have a rule. We're simply going to say that this wrapper box is going to be, let's make this 600 pixels wide by 600 pixels high. Let's put this in the center of the page. So auto to the right, auto to the left, automatically puts it in the center. So now this div tag is in the center of our page because that's what we told it to do. Okay, now what we want to have happen here, let's double click wrapper again. I'm gonna go to border, border or solid. 
So two, two pixels of blue. Now, notice that the type is smashing up against the text. Okay, so one of the things I can do here is I can say, I'm going to go to P for paragraph, double click P for paragraph, and I'm simply going to say box category, category box, the left and the right. We're going to do two M's to the right and two M's to the left. That's going to give it padding. Okay, now we can do some really, really cool things with this P tag. So we can say starting with the starting with the first paragraph. So I'm going to change that to one. So it's going to say two n plus one every other paragraph starting with one. Okay, so let's do something very, very extreme here. We can say double click here. We're going to make the color red box color red, we're going to make the type color white. So let's make the type color white. Let's make the background that same red I'm just going to paste here. And let's give this some kind of padding. So we're going to give this a five pixels of padding. Five pixels of padding. Now again, we can't see this until we go to live view. So how cool is that? That basically gave padding to the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, etc. paragraph, starting with the first paragraph. Now, in this particular case, I'm going to change something here. I'm going to go to wrapper, double click wrapper, get wrapper height of nothing. So therefore, wrapper will adjust to the height of itself. I'm going to say nothing. Don't confuse nothing with zero. Zero is a value. Nothing is default. So this defaults to nothing. Therefore, the wrapper is going to make this a separate paragraph. I think the turn key. Okay, so again, if I go to live view, I basically format it by first, third, fifth, seventh. Now, another way I could have done this too is I could have said odd. I could have said and child parentheses odd. But in this particular case, if you don't want to start with the first paragraph, say that I want to start with the third paragraph. So we can say third paragraph by saying plus three. See how simple this is? So we're just going to say change the one to a three, make a change, save a change, and we can go to live view, and it's going to start with the third paragraph. Now, this third paragraph doesn't have any margin space. Right now, it's going right to the edge of the wrapper. If, in fact, you wanted to have margin space, we can double-click that and say margin space. Margin space to the left. So let's do uh, right margin space, two M's, tab, tab, left margin space, two M's. Make a change, save a change. And there we go. So I can get some really cool formatting with my paragraphs in this particular case. But again, and child, I'm just making this as simplistic as possible. And child can be applied to any tag. And child can be the bold tag, strong tag, the div tag, the h1 tag, h2 tag, the q tag, which is for quotation. So I can basically do that for anything. So let's explore that for a second. So let's take this content right here, I'm going to basically make this a quote. So I'm going to select this tag and I'm going to change the tag. Very simply, I don't want to go to my code to do this because then I have to do an opening tag and a closing tag. So the simplest way to change the existing tag is to select the tag and hit Command T for Quick Tag Editor. Control T for Windows, Command T for Macintosh. I'm going to change that to Q. Q tag, which is my quotation tag. Right now, I don't have a rule for my quotation tag. Okay, so I'm going to take this quotation tag. I'm going to select this quotation tag. I'm going to put a quotation tag there. I'm going to put a quotation tag here by selecting the tag. Okay, I don't want this paragraph tag to be here, so I'm going to move the paragraph tag 
hold down the control key or right click, hold down the control key, select the tag that you want to affect, control key Macintosh or right click Windows and remove tag. So this is a Q tag. Okay, I'm gonna put another Q tag right here. So these are my quotation tags. Again, I'm gonna select the tag, select the tag, the P tag, hold down the control key and remove tag. So it simply says Q, Q for quotation. Now, I don't have a quotation tag. I'm sorry, I don't have a quotation rule. So how do I do that? I simply select the tag, select the tag, and make a rule. Make a rule. Now, I don't need to say wrapper Q. I simply want to say Q for quotation. So quotation is going to be, let's make this be bigger. Let's make this 145 percent let's make this italic and just because we can let's make this this orange color and let's make this capitalized so therefore we have something like this happening now this is affect all q tags when this particular case is the quotation so it could be the pull quote for that particular information so this could be say and john set or you know a general Motors, quote, 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 quote. That's what this can be. Now, in this particular case, the Q tag, which you probably never heard about before until today, did you? Okay. The Q tag is basically used for quotations or can be used for quotations. So we're going to go to the box category. We're going to set the padding to the right, two M's. We're going to set the padding to the left, two M's. Okay. So, in this particular case here, let's go back to that again. So I have box padding to the left, to the right, two M's. Now, by default, the padding is going to be indented the way it's set up here. Okay, so let's say I want my first paragraph, my first quote to be orange, but I want the subsequent, the subsequent ones to be black. Well, how would I do that? Very, very simply. Select the tag. So I put my cursor here. I select the tag. The Q tag. I make a rule. Select the plus symbol here. Make a rule. We're going to say Q colon yes and hyphen child. And we want to start with every other one starting with two. So we're going to say 2N plus two. So 2n plus 2 is every other one start with 2, and we're going to make that, let's make that this purple color, just because we can. Okay, so I go to my view, and this one's purple. So I have q, 2n plus 2. 